Good morning, this is Dana over here at Kishwaukee College and I had a student ask me the other day um, they asked me, they said, um, they said, Mr. Fellows what is this new CompTIA uh, CSA plus certification? So um, CSA, CompTIA, Cybersecurity Analyst certification. They said, what is it? Well, I'm on the CompTIA mail list and probably back in November I started getting emails telling us about this and probably less than a month ago I got an email saying that it was going to be released and uh, so I start reading more about it and looking into it and start to figure some things out so I can answer this question and I thought I'd share that here today. So the CompTIA CSA Plus certification is a certification that sort of uh, what CompTIA says bridges the, the gap between uh, the Security Plus certification and the other certification that is they have, which is the, um, the CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, the CASP certification. So they fell between Security Plus and the CASP certification, there was like a gap, um, a skills gap. And so they developed this certification as a bridge. So going forward, they have a series of three um, security certifications, which anybody who's in the IT world knows, like networking world, that they know that security is a big buzzword right now and um, lots going on in the field of security. And I'm trying to move forward here. So here we go. So what is the CompTIA CSA Plus? The CompTIA website describes it as the CompTIA the Cybersecurity Analyst. CSA is an international vendor neutral cybersecurity certification that applies behavior analytics to improve the overall state of IT security. CSA Plus validates critical knowledge and skills that are required to prevent, detect, and combat cybersecurity threats. So let me go back up here a little bit where it says vendor neutral. So what vendor neutral means is that this is not a Cisco certification, it's not a Microsoft certification, it's not uh, some other vendor who maybe the vendor just specializes in certifications for a certain appliance, whatever. So cyber, um, CompTIA cybersecurity certification and all the CompTIA certifications are vendor neutral which means those skills and things you learn apply to multiple vendors. So it could be Cisco, Microsoft, the same things that you need to know for all of them, you, you are covered in this CompTIA uh, certification. So that's a, a good thing. So that way you're not just learning how to um, protect a network using you know, like a sonic wall or um, a Cisco or something like that. You're learning the skills that everybody should know. So that's one reason I'm a fan of CompTIA. So it also talks about, applies behavior analytics. So I think what it does, it it's also starts covering skills that it makes you think more how hackers think perhaps, not just let's just block this thing. Let's, you know, let's learn about what makes them tick inside. So that's something else. And let's see what else prevent it. Uh, required to prevent, detect, and combat cybersecurity threats. So, yes. All right. So, the next slide, you know, tell me more. All right. So, I, I said this before CompTIA, um, the CSA, cyber, CompTIA Security, Cybersecurity Analyst, uh, bridges that gap between the CompTIA Security Plus and the CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, CASP. So, it makes a vendor neutral path. So, let me talk about that for a second. So there was that gap between Security Plus and the CASP, and people, you know, try to make that jump. They can make that jump, but sometimes they try to fill that gap with other certifications that perhaps had a lot of um, redundant uh, information that they've already learned. Um, wasn't then there was gaps missing to going forward. So this this makes like a, a seamless transition from Security Plus. Uh, the new CSA and the CASP. So it's a nice seamless path, which makes a lot of sense. So who is this for? So the CompTIA CSA Plus is for professionals looking to gain the following security analyst skills. So this stuff is from the CompTIA website. So the first bullet, um, configure and use threat detection tools. So 
detection tools, you know, penetration testing tools, um, you know, they're out there. Uh, perform data analysis, so gather data from log files, um, you know, look at it, try to figure out what's happening, when it's happening, you know, so you start thinking a little more rather than just trying to prevent things, you're starting to try to analyze things. And then interpret the results to identify um, threats and risks to the organization. So you, you take that information and you look to see where your weaknesses are and then you try to move on and make that a nice, um, you know, solutions for those things based on the skills that you have learned in your networking, Security Plus, and all the other um, courses and experience that you have developed. So is it worth it? Um, well, I'm thinking if you're going to want to specialize in network security and the buzzword cybersecurity, um, to me cybersecurity is nothing more than a more of a buzzword, fancy word for somebody who is a network administrator who specializes in firewall and prevention of hackers and viruses and malware and you got to give that person a title, so cybersecurity analyst or whatever. So, um, so CSA certified skills are in demand. So yeah, so if you have these certifications and you're competing head to head with people who are going for the same exact jobs and they don't have these certifications, this might be enough to put you over the edge. Just being certified doesn't mean that you are, you have it all figured out. You know, years of experience, um, and did you pass a certification based on what you know or did you pass a certification on what you memorized to pass a certification so there's a lot of people who look down at certifications of people who think oh just because that person can retain information doesn't mean they're a better worker well people who've gone through all the trouble to get certifications might disagree with that saying you know I've been working in IT for a while and yes I can retain information I can remember things. I, I can go in and take a test and be successful and I should be rewarded for that. So and I kind of agree with that um, point of view. So CSA is glob globally recognized. Yeah so CompTIA, if you're in the IT field, everybody knows who CompTIA is. If, if, they, if you work in the IT field and you don't know who CompTIA is, you are living in a cave. So whatever. You might not like CompTIA, but you should know who they are. Uh, provides substantial earnings potential. So anybody who is going into the network security area and you're good, not necessarily certified, but if you're good, um, you're going to make really decent money. And if I was a bit younger, um, that would be the area that I would really go for, the security area. So the um, next one, CSA IS industry supported. So yeah, so uh, there's tons of people on these advisory committees for CompTIA. Um, I, I've thought about, you know, stepping up and offering to be on a committee. Uh, CompTIA, the, the offices are not located that far from me. They're only about where I'm sitting at today, uh, less than 40 miles probably. I could get to the CompTIA, um, like the home office in Illinois. But I'm, I'm also pretty busy, so um, if they were to offer that someday, I might think about it, but I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Let's keep going here. So how do I get to this? How, you know, so if you're asking me, I, I think that's what the student was asking me. You know, what is it? How do I get it? Well, that student is already on the right path. So this is the recommended path that CompTIA has put out. This graphics is from their website. So the CompTIA um, CompTIA.org. So, so it's the first thing, IT fundamentals. Well, we, we kind of skim over that. We kind of skip that here at the college, and most people do. So that would be, you know, most students I get, that they are kind of got some tech background. They're super users, I might want to call them, um, or whatever. So, so if you're interested in IT, you're, you're probably already tinkering. So the, the next step here, the CompTIA A+, over here, I'm looking right over here, um, that's, you know, PC repair. PC fundamentals, knowing the operating systems, knowing the hardware. So that's usually the one of the first steps. And then kind of going hand in hand with that is the CompTIA Network Plus, um, vendor neutral, beginning networking certification. So these two certifications are what I always recommend 
uh, young people go after first. So when I taught high school at, at a career center, uh, we covered these two certifications the first year. Uh, semester one, we focused on A+, plus. Uh, semester two, network plus. So those students, uh, if they wanted to, they could go out and they would have would have covered all the knowledge needed to pass those certifications. Um, the third certification that in this path is Security Plus. So whether you're going into network security or not, this is usually the third certification I recommend students uh, to take because this certification you start going to uh, covering firewalls, uh, you start working with uh, Microsoft server um, things, a little bit of Linux, uh, a little bit of um, uh, command line stuff, how routers and switches work, and a little more in depth. And then this one here, the CSA, the cybersecurity, um, CompTIA cybersecurity analyst, is the next path, step on the path, which you would, uh, we don't offer a course in that at the college. Perhaps we will in the future. I would love to have three courses, Security Plus, the CSA Plus, and the CASP. Uh, I would love to have that path at the college someday, but uh, here in Illinois, the colleges are hurting for money. Uh, our enrollments are down, and right now would be, I wouldn't have a lot of support from the college to offer this right now. And it's a lot of work developing courses, courses from scratch, uh, brand new, and I, without having the support, I'm not ready to fight that battle yet. But that's not to say students can't do Security Plus here and then continue and get these, um, go through online courses or something and get these certifications on your own, which I would highly recommend. So, all right, so that, that kind of wraps it up. I think I answered that question and whatever I took here, uh, 12 minutes. So once again, uh, you can find me on Facebook, Dan the Tech Teacher. I, when I, whenever I update a video, make a video, I post it on there. Uh, or you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Just search for Dana the Tech Teacher and then I can answer questions and you can request, uh, ask me questions and I will answer questions and request if you have something you want me to ramble about, even if I don't know what I'm talking about, I'll make stuff up and I'll post it on YouTube and then you can enjoy it. So, all right, I gotta go to a very important meeting. Otherwise I'll get fired this afternoon. So I better wrap this up. So I'll see you later.